Hey everyone, it's Steve, welcome back. How many of you out there have woken up in the middle of the night to that dreaded chirping sound coming from your fire alarm? I'm pretty consistent with changing the batteries on all of my alarms throughout the house on a regular basis, every six months at least. And yet, it still happened to me. So, when it's the middle of the night, all you can do is get up on a ladder, remove it from the ceiling, take the battery out, set it aside, and worry about it the next day. When I woke up, the new day shined a surprising light on the matter. I grabbed a fresh battery, put it in the alarm, and immediately got the chirping sound. Of course, I first blamed the battery, but after trying several, all of which I knew were definitely fresh, I ruled out the battery and did some investigation on the alarm. Because this is a carbon monoxide alarm, there is actually a shelf life. I've read that this can vary from seven to 10 years. This particular one was 10 years, and you can actually see on the alarm itself that this one is dated January of 2013, 10 years ago. So of course what this meant was that all the carbon monoxide alarms in this house would be bad. That meant a trip to amazon.com, ordering some new alarms, and replacing them throughout the house. Luckily, this was something that even I could do. Okay, let's stop that annoying beep by removing the old alarm. That's gonna be a twist to the left. And then it should pull down. And you'll see that it's held on by some wires, one of which is a little clip. So we're just gonna undo that clip. And then we freed our old alarm. All right, so unless you want this thing to keep beeping while you're working, let's go ahead and remove the battery altogether. Once that's done, then this thing will be silent for good. There we go. And now we can get back to work. So unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as just plugging in the new alarm and then restoring it to its location. Uh, the base plate is the same, that does work. But the problem is that the connector is actually slightly different than the new one. So this is our old fire alarm. And as you can see, it has this clip that just plugs straight into the back. Whereas the new one has a well that you have to insert the connector into and then snap it into place. So quite a bit different. And ultimately, this one, this old clip won't work with our new uh, alarm. So that's why we have to change out these wires. We're going to have to turn off the power, switch out the wires, and then turn the power back on. So let's go do that. Okay, so since we're working with electricity, we want to make sure that we turn the power off at the source, at the panel. My house has a dedicated circuit that is for the smoke detectors and the doorbell. Now, I could just throw the switch if it was an ordinary switch, but this one has a safety block on it. It's held in place by a small screw. We'll need to remove that so that we can switch off the power. All right, so you'll need a small flathead screwdriver and just slide that in there. And it's just a couple turns, just enough to loosen it so that this little safety piece pulls away. Once we've done that, we can switch the power off. Okay, our power is off, so we can just pull these wires down. And you can see that there's three little nuts here. All right, we're gonna replace it with our new connector. All colors going to the same colors as before, white to white. Red to red. and black to black. Once we have our power connector switched out, let's turn the power back on. We wanna make sure that we turn our power back on. If we don't do this, then the alarms will be operating on battery only and they won't last long. So let's get that turned to the on position and then we'll replace our safety 
lock so that it stays in the open position. And make sure you drop that in there so that it, once you secure it, you can no longer throw that switch. All right, we have our new connector in place and we have our power back on. So we're ready to install our new alarm. And we're just going to take our new connector and slide it into the connector slot. Make sure you hear it snap into place and you are good to go. All right, the final step is to push all of our wires up into the housing. Make sure they're out of the way. Careful not to pull any of the wires away from their twist nuts. All right, once we have our power clip seated in place, we're ready to put it back into the ceiling. So we're just gonna push it up against the wire housing and twist to the right. And you're done. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful, informative, enjoyable. If you did, please like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Again, the fire alarm that we uh, swapped this out with is listed in the description below. So use that link. It is appreciated. Until next time, this has been Steve for things that even I can do. Stay safe. <laughs>